Did you know within Thinkorswim, you could send an options chain to a chart? This allows you to see the price action movement on a candlestick chart like this of the option, just like you would any underlying stock, which also allows you to trade the option just like you would any stock, which is going to allow you to apply automated trading to your option strategies. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to do it. If you're excited, do me a favor, chuck this video a like, and I'll jump into the education. Let's go back and talk about step number one that I just performed in the intro since I did it a little bit quickly. How do you send an options chain to a chart like this? Well, you can see here next to where I have normally my stock ticker typed in, there is a blue three. If you click on this to unlock the drop down, these are where you can link the charts to other sources. I have this one set to blue three. Now, when I go into my trade tab where the options chain is, I'm looking at SPY, say I'm looking at uh, this options chain, a SPY 508 call expiring on Monday. So if I right click on this chain itself inside of this horizontal bar, just go down to this send, hover over, and then to blue. When I go back to my blue chart, you will see it has this SPY 29 April 24 508 call that's how you get your actual options chain onto the chart. And you can see now, just like how stocks look, this is the price action. We're on a five minute chart. This is the price action. Each one of these bars representing five minutes of how the option itself has moved. For example's sake for this video, let's say that you are trading an extremely simple moving average crossover strategy. You are getting long or you're getting in your calls when the 20 SMA crosses above the 50 SMA and you are exiting your calls when the 20 SMA crosses back down below the 50 SMA. You can see a strategy like that running on my chart here. Once again, should you actually trade like this? Probably not, but let's simplify the strategy so that we can learn the idea of automation for this video's sake. All right, let's get into the meat and bones. Let's get into the modal we need to get to to set up our automated trading strategy. Now, this part's a little bit click intensive. I'm going to take it as slow as I can. Do your best to stick with me here. If I click on this uh, box of grids, I'm on the flexible chart here. If you're on your normal charts, you click on this and go to the same thing. Either way, it doesn't really matter which one you're on. If I click on this box, I go to customize grid and I turn my sidebar on. This is how I can get into my active trader window. And I need to see my active trader window because I need to, for this sake, for setting up this automated trade, I need to make sure that auto send is turned off. Now, if you open your active trade window and you don't see this auto send box, you may have to go into the settings and you may have to make sure that your auto send is actually set up to show. You may have to add that item. So that may be an additional step for you, but that's the first step. Make sure auto send is turned off. I'll close my active trader. I'll get rid of the sidebar and I'll go back into my box of grids, turn off customized grid to get rid of that ugly box in the middle of my chart. Okay, so now if I want to enter a call, when once again, when the 20 SMA crosses above the 50 SMA on the SPY daily chart, because you can see it actually, this is actually a perfectly timed example because you would have just gotten out of a trade on Friday, right? You would have just exited your call. Hopefully you made a bit of money depending on what the Greeks were on this move up. Now, the next time that the SMAs cross again, you want to get back into the trade. So you're going to come into your chart where you have sent the option to correctly. We already went over that step. Um, you're just going to right click anywhere. You're going to go to buy. Since you have auto send turned off, it's going to pop up your confirmation window from here. Once again, a little bit click intensive, a little bit annoying. Stick with me. I'm sorry, but I'm going to go to edit. That's going to pop up this modal. From here, I'm going to hover over this very little settings cog over here in the far right. And if I click on this, finally, we get into our order rules modal. And this is where we are going to begin creating automated trading steps within Thinkorswim.
Let's run down this modal line by line. Your first line, you are set up to buy. Of course, that's the selection you made at the beginning. This is where you can set your quantity. If you only want to buy one call option, set that quantity to obviously whatever you would like it to be. Next, this part's interesting. So you have your option trade strategy set up for when the SMAs cross, right? So you can either just set this to market so that no matter what the option is trading at, when that cross happens, it'll go buy the call at whatever it's trading at. Or you can set it to limit, right? The option is currently trading at 149. Now this is put in 342 just because that's where I happen to right click on the chart. But say like, hey, I want to buy, I want to buy during the SMA cross, but also only if the option is still trading at or below 250. Like if by the time the SMAs have crossed, this option has more than doubled in price, I still don't want to chase it. So that's once again going to be up to your strategy, but important to understand the difference between a market and a limit order. Because now if the SMAs cross, but this option is trading at $3, you won't get in, but maybe that's what you want, right? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it set up like that for our example sakes. Next, your time and force is set to default day. What this means is that at the end of the day, your, your order will be auto canceled. Now, if you're using a day trading strategy, maybe that's what you want. For our example, we're using a swing trading strategy. So I'm going to want to click this drop down and change the order type to GTC or good till canceled. This obviously means that the the order will remain open until I go in and manually cancel it right um, so now let's jump down to the fun part let's jump down to the conditions these first couple of check boxes are only for if you want the order to submit at a specific time or cancel at a specific time rather than just going when you hit confirm and send down here right so we're gonna skip it I want the order to go as soon as I place this order. So if I click into this symbol here, it auto populates with spy uh, because that's the underlying we're looking at, which is nice. Then I'm going to come into this method. I'm going to go to study and then I'm going to go to edit. This pops up even another modal study order condition. This is where you get to tell the machine, tell the software what needs to be true for your order to be executed, right? The order is going to be placed. Once you hit confirm and send, this order will be sitting out there. You'll see it in your monitor window. You will see your open order, but it will not execute until whatever you tell it to be within this uh, study order condition modal, correct? If I come into the edit here, we want the simple moving average uh, length of, what did I say, 20 uh, crosses above uh, simple moving average. If I go to study, look up simple, uh, la, 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 la. there should be a simple moving average. Uh, why is it not auto populating? That's really annoying. Yeah, I'm on simple there. Thank you. Simple moving average of a length of 50. So now simple moving average 20 crosses above simple moving average length 50. If I hit save, if I hit OK, and if we look down at our description box down here, I really like this description box. It explains in plain English what the machine is looking to do before it executes your order. So always check this. Submit the following order. Buy one SPY 100. That's representing the, uh, the number of options, like the leverage that an option is worth. 29 April 24, 508 call. Correct. At 250 or better, remember, if I switch this to market, that'll go away at current market price. But no, we wanted it to only buy if the option is still at or below 250. Um, note that the order price is at unlocked mode, uh, blah, 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 blah. Means that the order price is automatically changed within every new quote on the instrument while the order is being exited, edited. That price mode is available only when order, only when order, I'm actually, read, I'm actually reading this and trying to learn it myself here, sorry. Okay, I see what it's saying. So I didn't talk about this. I didn't even really notice it, honestly. But apparently, if you unlock, if you click on this little lock here, it will set up the limit price to change according to whatever the current price is while you are creating your order. So if it takes you three minutes to make this order, and during that time, the underlying moves up 10 cents, this will also move your limit price up 10 cents. We don't care. We just want it to be set at 250, locked to 250, 
we're happy with that. Step number two, wait until the following condition is satisfied. Spy study, simple moving average length equals 20, crosses above simple moving uh, length equals 50. Nice. This order will only execute when that is true and if the limit price of the of the option we're looking at is better than $2.50. Now, I do want to come in and set up something else just for example's sake. Say um, I do want this order to cancel if on the day it still hasn't filled, say by like uh, by like three by like three o'clock, if it still hasn't filled, I don't want it to fill in the last hour of the day. So when I check this box, now I don't even have to go in and manually cancel the order. Now there is a third step in the description: cancel the order automatically at 4:29:24 if it is still active. So that's how this sort of time box works. The order will still submit. I, I, I will admit, and I, when I was first making my trades like this, it confused me like, well, is it, you know, do I have to check this? No, the order will still submit without this box checked. It just means that it will submit now when you click the button. You can check this box and you can make it like not submit until 1244 on Monday if you want to do that. But don't worry about not having that box checked. The order will still go through. Now, of course, I saved this. And if I came down and hit confirm and send, which I'm not going to do because I am in my real account right now and I don't want to mess anything up, it would put that order out there and it would execute once the 20 SMA crosses back above the 50 SMA if that call option is still at or below $2.50. Now, as I was going through this in the back of my mind, I did think like, you know, in, in a real life example, you would not want to go with the option expiring on Monday for a trade like this, right? You probably want to go a few months out. So it, just keep that in mind. If this was a real trade, we actually would have gone a few months out. Understand that. But I just, I just felt like I had to get that out of the back of my mind so you guys didn't think I was an idiot. But anyway, that's how you set up an automated buy order within your options trading strategy within Thinkorswim. So I actually have a website, daytradingstrategies.net, where I have a list of example conditional orders so that you can kind of get an idea of how you set these up. Like, hey, I want to buy if the volume is two times the average volume over the last 14 bars. If you just come into my website, copy that conditional order, go back into this modal, and I actually didn't specifically talk about this, but if I bring back up the study order condition, I can jump into this think script editor here where I can edit my you know condition for why I would enter the trade using code. You can just copy and paste that directly in, or you know, it just once again helps give you ideas of conditional orders you can build out. Not to mention, you're gonna get access to all of my custom coded strategies, scanners, indicators, all of this. There's over 45 different codes you get access to, and I promise you, it's cheaper than you think it is. So daytradingstrategies.net, there's a link at the top of the description. Go click that, go sign up today. We're not quite done yet. Still a little bit more value to give you in this video. I, I just want to talk about the next step, right? Once you have this order set up, and I, sh I should say, once this order executes, unfortunately, you know, this isn't fully automated. I'm obviously telling you a process that you still have to go through, but it, this is going to be extremely helpful for anyone that trades with a job, with a kid, with really any life outside of staring at your chart all day, right? You can, uh, you know, you'll get a notification on your phone if you have the mobile app set up correctly. Hey, you just entered your trade. You know, within the next hour, you probably want to get back to a computer and you want to set up your sell condition. But I just want to talk about how you can do this the same sort of way. If you wanted to set up, you know, your order is executed. Now you need to go set up your sell. Hey, this time we obviously want the, uh, I set it to market, whatever price it's at. Let's just have it sell there. And of course you would need to come in and you would need to change this to crosses below. If the 20 SMA crosses back below the 50 SMA, I want to go ahead and sell. I would save, I would confirm and send this. Now, once again, you can get off the computer, you can stop staring at the charts, you can go have a life, and whenever that 20 SMA crosses back below the 50 SMA, 
your option order will automatically execute. You'll sell at the market price that it is currently trading at so that you can now have both of your buy and your sell orders that you have to create. You still have to create them, but they execute automatically and that should help save you a ton of screen time. Hey, and not to mention, I was about to wrap up that clip, but more than just helping you with your screen time, what this does is it helps you a ton with your emotions, right? How many times have you been in a winning trade and exited early just because you saw that you were up a couple hundred bucks, but where you were supposed to get out of the trade actually would have made you a couple thousand dollars? We've all done it. I know the answer is yes. If it's not yes, you haven't been trading long enough. Don't worry, it will happen to you. Um, but, but having your order set up like this, you know, set your sell order to what your system that you've proven and back tested and you know works, says it's supposed to be, and then walk away from the damn computer, right? Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you made it this far, you obviously found some kind of value. All I ask in return, take the half second to hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on. And hey, if you want to improve your trading a little bit more, help support what I do, check out daytradingstrategies.net with the link at the top of the description down below. YouTube thinks you'll like this video that it shows you on the outro screen, so consider giving that a watch next. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>